What's more effective, cold prospecting or thought leadership and relationship development? I've got the answer for you on today's episode of the Dave Lorenzo Daily. Hi, it's Dave Lorenzo. Welcome to another edition of the Dave Lorenzo Daily. We're here every day with sales strategy and business development tips you can use right away to do this and sell more. Join us by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. Every Thursday we do a live interview with someone who's an entrepreneur or an industry expert who can give you actionable tips you can use right away to develop more business. Today we're talking about the effectiveness of cold prospecting versus thought leadership. Now, cold prospecting is something that you're gonna hear a lot about if you take standardized sales training programs. People talk about how you need to knock on doors and make cold calls in order to get appointments, and then once you get in, you need to demonstrate the benefits and the features of your product or service and talk about how they meet the needs of your client. All that is fine. And all that will work if you're planning on putting a lot of effort forward in order to make things happen. If you want prospects to come to you, there is a better way. And this is the way that I teach. I teach people to go out and give talks and speeches, to write articles and develop new original content, do videos like these to help educate folks in their industry and to reach out from one to many as opposed to one to one. The reason I do that is because it is a more effective way to develop relationships. People come to you instead of you pestering the crap out of a hundred people in order to get one lead and you're perceived as an expert. You're perceived as a thought leader and you have immediate credibility and you can charge more. You don't have to believe me on this. You can take the Pepsi challenge and I'll tell you what one of my clients did. I have a client that's in professional services and four years ago they came to me and they said we'd like a proposal for you on sales training. I went through the qualifying process, the client was totally qualified. They had 80 people they wanted to train and I offered them a proposal that they thought was way too expensive. They went with a local franchised sales training organization and I went into them and I said how many people is that local franchise sales training organization working with? They told me 40. I said, I'll tell you what, give me 10 people and I will charge you the same amount they're charging you per person for these 10 people and we'll compare the return on investment at the end of a year. If I beat their return on investment, you give me all 80 people for the second year. They said, Dave, you're on. Within six months, my 10 people had produced over $4 million in new revenue. Now, this was high ticket sales, and this was a professional service where the sales time was usually, the lead time was usually 18 months. They had an 18 month sales cycle. I shortened it to six months in many, many cases. My return on investment was 400%, and it was triple the amount the other company provided in a year and I did it in just six months. So now they're one of my biggest clients. They pay me over a million dollars a year to work with all of their people and I've created an entire sales university program for them. In addition, their people are more comfortable with relationship development and thought leadership. What does this mean for you? You're an individual entrepreneur. You're out there working for yourself, trying to grow your business. Cold call, knock on doors, if you think that's going to be most effective. If you're in a one call close environment, cold calling may work for you. But if you're in an environment where your sales cycle is longer, it's better for you to be perceived as an expert, for you to develop thought leadership, for you to go out and give speeches to 100 people, have 35, 40, 50 of them say they're interested in your services, and follow up with them, nurture them over time, that's way better than making 100 phone calls and having one person say yes to an appointment. We talk about relationship-based sales. We talk about thought leadership 
educational sales here every day. If you'd like another fantastic idea about developing relationships, shortening your sales cycle, and connecting with people in a way that they believe that you're the expert that you actually are, this is the place for you. My name is Dave Lorenzo, and I hope to see you right back here again tomorrow for another edition of the Dave Lorenzo Daily. Until then, I hope you do this and sell more.